The next question we want to answer is this. How do we record measurements in science? The first thing to know about all measurements is that none of them is exact. And that is a very bold claim. No measurement is exact because every measurement carries some amount of uncertainty in it. Now, what does that mean? This is what it means. Take a look at this measurement over here. Let us say the unit is in centimeter. All the digits in the measurements will be exact except the very last one. The last digit is always an estimate. The last digit is always a guess. And whenever we are writing a measurement, we should always report the me measurement such that every digit except the last one will be an estimate. So, the last digit is always a guess. What does that mean? Let us take a look at this example. I've asked many of my students to tell me what they would record as the length of this wood, this piece of wood. Some of them told me, um, I would just record four centimeter. Some of, some of them told me, oh, I will simply record 4.55 centimeter. And some people told me 4.5 centimeter. Which of these answers would be correct? Let us examine the ruler. Because anytime you want to make a measurement, the very first thing you want to do is to understand the instrument you're using to make the measurement. On this ruler, the calibration is such that we have 0, 1, 2, three we do not have any other calibration for example between one and two we simply go from one to two from two to three from three to four and the piece of wood here is definitely longer than four and that is why you can see that every answer here has four in it. It is a fact that the piece of wood is longer than four. It is not up to five centimeter. There is no calibration between four centimeter and five centimeter on this ruler. So, it is anybody's guess exactly where between four and five the, the measurement of the ruler is actually located. So if you say the measurement is four centimeter, you are very wrong because it is definitely longer than four centimeter. If you say that the measurement is 4.55 centimeter, you are also wrong because we do not even know where 4.5 is located on this ruler. So there is no way we can begin to talk about any other number.
since we don't even know where 4.5 is. So if you say that the measurement is 4.5 centimeter, you're correct. If you say it is 4.4 centimeter, you are also correct. Even if you say 4.6 centimeter, 4.7 centimeter, technically, you would be correct. Because we know that it is longer than 4 centimeter, but it is not up to 5 centimeter. And there is no calibration between 4 and 5. And that means the last digit here is our guess, is the estimate, which you will always see in every measurement. The last digit would always be a guess. And this is the reason. When we are reading a measurement, we always estimate between lines. And that is where the guess comes from. Let us take a look at another example. What should we record as the length of this piece of wood? Again, the first thing you should always do is to understand calibration of your measuring device. So on this ruler, we have four here and we have five here. Between four and five, we have 10 divisions. 10 divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 divisions between four and five. So what would be the value of each division? Well, one unit between four and five, that would be one unit. One unit has to be divided into 10, which is 0 0.1. So that means this is 4.1, this would be 4.2, This will be 4.3. This will be 4.4. This will be 4.5. And if you're looking carefully at this, you will see that this piece of wood is longer than 4.5. So we know for sure that it is longer than 4.5 but it is not up to 4.6 so it is longer than 4.5 centimeter it is not up to 4.6 centimeter so how do we record it well remember the last digit is always a guess we know that for sure this piece of wood is longer than 4.5. That is exact. That has no controversy. But it is not up to 4.6. So if you write 4.5 centimeter, you would be wrong because we know that it is definitely longer than 4.5. However, if you write 4.53 centimeter, you would be correct. If you write 4.54 centimeter, you will be correct. If you write 4.55 centimeter, you are right. 4.56 centimeter would also be correct. So would 4.57 centimeter. In a nutshell, the last digit is a guess. But we know for sure that this piece of ruler is definitely longer than 4.5 but it is not up to 4.6 centimeter let us look at another example what about if the piece of wood is directly on this 
And again, understand the calibration of your measuring instrument. We have three to four, there is no division between three and four. So how do we record this? If you write three centimeter, you would be wrong. Because remember, the last digit in your measurement must be a guess. So how do we write this? If you write it as 3.0 centimeter, you would be very correct. If you even if you write 3.1 centimeter, technically you would be correct. If you write 2.9 centimeter, technically you would be correct. But when it is directly on number three, like we have here, 3.0 would be the most appropriate record of the length. I now want you to pause the video and answer this question. Okay, let us take a look at this together. This is a graduated cylinder. And the water level or the liquid level in this graduated cylinder is such that it is at this level. This is the correct way to make a measurement of volume in the lab. Your eye level must be at the same level as the liquid you are trying to measure. Remember, you need to understand the calibration of the measuring device. In this case, the, graduate, the graduated cylinder is the measuring device and we have 10 divisions between 60 milliliter, the unit is milliliter, and 70 milliliter. 10 divisions between 60 and 70, which means 10 units is divided into 10 lines. Each would be one unit. So that means this is 61. This would be 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and this would be 67. So how do we record this? We know that the liquid level in this graduated cylinder it looks as if it is exactly on 67 milliliter. But if you write 67 milliliter, you would be wrong. Because your last digit must be a guess. We always read between the lines. So if you write it as 67.0 milliliter, you would be correct. If you write it as 67.1 milliliter, you would be correct. So would maybe 66.9 milliliter. But all the other options would be incorrect.